Hello, and welcome back to Jolly Roger Hobbies. Today we're going to be doing a full review of the Iwata Neo CN Gravity Feed Airbrush. Is it a good airbrush to have? What are its uses? And most importantly, can it do the job I need it for? Stay tuned, and we'll get to it after the intro. We'll see you in 40 seconds or less. Here on my channel, I do videos on general hobbies, which include model building, RC aircraft, planes, helicopters, etc., video games like Star Citizen, photography, geocaching, anything to do with aviation, and I also do product reviews. I put links to items that I showcase in my videos in the description, so be sure to check that out. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll see when I upload a new video. Also, feel free to ask questions in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer. And feel free to converse with one another, but please do it in a respectful way. Okay, so here we have the airbrush as it comes in the package. This nice foam package also makes for a wonderful storage holder when not in use, or if you have a small work area like myself. So what do you get in the package? This airbrush comes with two cup sizes. A 1 to 16 ounce or 1.5 millimeter cup and a 1 quarter ounce or 7 millimeter cup. Why? I really don't know. Let me pull this out and explain it to you. So first off, as you notice right away, The uh, airbrush, the quarter ounce cup, comes with a nice lid, and it's a larger size. So both of these have the exact same openings on the bottom. So the gravity paint flow is the exact same. Now, why does that matter? It really doesn't. It just means that the paint will flow, so it doesn't matter what size you cup you use. So, if you have small amounts of paint, I want to suggest you use a small cup. But the problem, if you move around a lot, tilt, you're easily able to spill this. Second of all, you're going to constantly refill this if you don't use a lot. Me, I just keep this big cup on, which is easier to use. Refill if I need to, which it's a bigger cup. You're not going to refill as often as this. Cleans out the exact same, but it also has a nice cap for those times you tilt too much or shake. So, in my opinion, the bigger cup is better to use anyways. What also comes in the package is a little filter wrench, or nozzle wrench. This is to take the nozzle off inside for cleaning. First off, the Neo CN Airbrush by Iwata is a gravity feed dual action airbrush. Gravity feed is just as it sounds, as I kind of explained before. The paint is fed into the mixing chamber by gravity by the overhead cup. Meaning, paint just gravity fed into here. This is the mixing chamber here. Your air hose connected here. Air moves up through it. And mixes with the paint in here. And is pushed out. Dual action means that you can control the amount of air delivered to the nozzle by how hard you press down on the trigger. At the same time, pulling the trigger back allows the paint to flow. Let me get a little closer, you can see that better. So, so the more you pull the trigger back, the more the paint flows. Dual action gives you the ability to have complete control. And over how much 
and how fast the paint is applied. So you can adjust your airflow and your paint flow all at the same time. No adjusting before or after you have started painting. So you can just do this straight on the fly. The working air pressure for this airbrush is between 8 and 20 PSI, making this ideal for low pressure environments and smaller air compressors. The needle size internally is 0.35 millimeters, which is great for spraying fine to medium details. So what type of application is this airbrush good for? Well, this airbrush is good for more applications than I can shake a stick at, really. Model building, makeup, food coloring as in cakes, pastries, and other food-related items, temporary tattoos, face painting, just to name a few. Really, it is good for anything you would need to spray fine to medium scale items. Cleanup is straightforward like most airbrushes. The body, the trigger, the nozzle, the needle cap, the needle, and the cup are all e easily removable. And what I mean by body is this portion right here that allows you to access the needle chuck and the needle. For a more detailed look into cleaning, have a look at my airbrush cleaning video. I use my Iwata BCN in the video, but this airbrush and that one are the exact same, except for the BCN is a bottle fed airbrush or siphon feed, and this is gravity feed. They both disassemble the same way, so cleanup are the same. And I'll put a card to that video right here. Overall, this is a wonderful airbrush for the beginner and expert alike. Easy to use and easy to clean. If this is your first airbrush, or you are just adding it to your collection, I think you will be very happy with it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video with someone you may think will like it, and consider subscribing for more content like this. I hope you enjoyed this review, and thanks for watching. Thank you.